Hi guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a video on things that I would like to see in Overlook Bay. And these are just some ideas that I've gathered along my journey being in Overlook Bay and playing Overlook Bay. And I think that these are really great things to add. If you'd like to hear the ideas that I have for you, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, so these ideas are meant to improve Overlook Bay. In no way am I saying that this game is not good or like there's a lot of things that they need to improve on. This game is phenomenal and I love playing Overlook Bay. During the Valentine's Day event, I like legit went crazy on videos. So as you guys can tell, I love this game and while playing this game, um, I kind of just came up with ideas and stuff that can be added into the game and I think that this would enhance the in-player experience as well. So, so the first idea that I have have is a building idea just because I'm a builder in Overlook Bay if you couldn't already tell I love building and stuff and my idea is to have the ability to resize resize shapes in build mode so if we go into build mode let's go ahead and go into build mode let's go to shapes um as you guys can see there's many different shapes of like different forms and stuff and like just sizes and sometimes um when building it's really hard to find like that perfect shape. Like most of the time these are the perfect shapes, but if you're doing a custom custom build, then you're definitely going to want to use something that fits that build. And for this one, let's do like the large rectangle. This is pretty big and stuff, and I wish we had an option to like resize it, make it a little taller if we wanted to, make it a little bit skinnier, you know, kind of just like being able to scale it just like you can in Roblox Studio. There's a lot of things that we wish we can change about the sizing of the shapes and stuff and the rectangles and stuff like that to make building a, a little bit more easier on us. So that is one of the things that I wish to see in Overlook Bay. The second thing I want to see in Overlook Bay is furniture items with animations. So like for example, example these are actually the snow globes underneath the little cylinders right here I'll show you real quick so as you guys can see I put um, some snow globes on the wall and I kind of just hit it underneath the cylinder so that is an idea of one of the furniture items that have animations within overlook bay also this kind of has like an animation as well but another thing that has animations is if you put your pets into the bathtub so let's go ahead and put this pet into the bathtub and as you guys can see there's a little animation right here already so I really wish we can have like an animation for like a sprinkler or like a fountain like this this kind of needs something going on right here I would really just love to see like more animations and possibly even the candles have animations I feel like there's so many things that you can add animations to and I think it'd be really cool especially like this right here all right so moving on to the next idea is glowy neon furniture and these can be lights shapes wall decor basically anything you can think of and the only thing that kind of has like the glowy furniture is the lighting as you guys can see like i have some lighting up there the lighting stars right here and everything i'd love to see like shapes that have um glowiness to it and i really like the windows that are in adopt me but of course we don't want to uh, kind of take that idea so maybe we can change it up and make furniture that is glowy there is actually one furniture that is glowy within our catalog catalog i guess that's what we're going to kind of call it for now i don't know i guess our build mode so some furniture already glows like the sci-fi seat and the sci-fi stand the tv stand right here i'd really love to see more glowy things and then of course the fog machine right here glows too as well i don't think anything currently glows with it oh wait yeah the single christmas hue light right here glows actually let's see for these candles right here let's go ahead and put these candles down somewhere okay so these candles actually do have animations but i wish the regular candles actually had animations like that so maybe we can use that exact animation into like candles maybe even for this candelabra right here as well um, let me see i don't think anything else oh here we go so the this lamp thing actually glows too and then i think this one too like the santa lights and the santa hat and the reindeer and stuff so i love to see like more glowy furniture that isn't like really holiday themed i really like to see like some basic glowy furniture that we can use for all year round and stuff all right so my next idea is the ability to interact with kitchen appliances now a lot of people have talked about this 
and how like a cooking update would be really cool but a lot of people think that it would make the game glitchy so maybe we can do something like jobs and incorporate it into where it, the game's not super glitchy you know what i mean like what if we had to like bake for something and it's like a timed like test or something like that what if we had something like that within the game because as you guys know like we can place the appliances down like this and decorate with them but we actually cannot use them currently we can use the sink as you guys can see but that's probably about it i would really love to be able to use this toaster and oh my gosh guys maybe even this toaster can have like a cute little animation as well i'd really love to be able to use some of these things maybe even grab a candy from the fruit bowl or the fruit bowl the candy bowl we also have a fruit bowl over here and then also plates maybe a dishwashing job as well and then maybe even like a cooking task i think those things will be actually really cool and i'd love to see more appliances in the game my next idea that i have down is food and kitchen updates so like food items items and stuff um this doesn't necessarily have to be like a cooking update with like a lot of like scripting and stuff but what i mean is like more food items maybe we can have more kitchen decorations that have to do with like fruits and stuff and more things that we can build with for like food and stuff maybe even like a bakery update maybe even like donuts guys like the donuts in adopt me are so cute and i wish i could see that in this game as well so that i can make like a little donut shop bill or something like that you guys know i'd probably end up doing that <laughs> because it'd be so cool so i love to see like new food items and stuff so the next idea that i have written down is the ability to travel to different maps on an airplane or go on vacation so if you guys have played royal high before they have like so many different maps they have the main map right when you first join the game and then when you decide to go to another map it takes you into another game and i love to be able to like just go on vacation and you know like hang out maybe even like a camping map where we can just go camping and stuff and then possibly another map where we can visit like the bahamas since the christmas update where we had to be in the train to like teleport to the north pole that's kind of the idea that i had for this is like traveling and stuff so maybe instead of getting into like a train we can get into an airplane and be able to teleport to another map like we were able to with the north pole so we have seen that it is possible to do that within this game within the christmas update that we had in december uh the next idea i have is is a camping update plus quests. So I want to be able to go camping this summer in Overlook Bay and some of the quest ideas that I had was probably to find like sticks to make a fire, build a bonfire, and then possibly make like, like s'mores and stuff. I'm not sure if you can make s'mores in this game. You probably could. I'm not. I don't know. Um, being able to make s'mores, being able to find like firewood for the um, the bonfire, being able to like set up your tent and stuff like that, and like little animations like that to make um, Overlook Bay more like reality. If that makes any sense. All right. So the next idea that I have written down here is pet training furniture, agility furniture, ability to train pets, and what I mean by training pets is not just like tricks and stuff but being able to train them for like pet competitions like agility and stuff so i'm not sure if you guys have actually heard of the game called nintendogs that was my version of like pet taking care of games and basically nintendogs you can like take care of your pet you can feed it you can bathe it you can bring it on walks and stuff oh my gosh that'd be so cool guys being able to bring your pets on a walk in overlook bay i don't think any pet adoption simulator thing has that just yet i think that'd be really cool oh my gosh that's another idea that i have for like overlook bait to incorporate is being able to go on a pet task or a pet walk task or something like that like hey your pet wants to go on a walk take him on a walk go around a stroll go on a stroll in like the around overlook bay going back to like the pet training furniture i think it'd be really cool to have like a seesaw or maybe even like the sticks that you put in the ground for like agility for your pet to go around maybe even like the jumping ones as well to you know train your pet for like pet competitions i think that would be so cool and if they got the whole server like um involved with that and like it's kind of like that task thing in adopt me where like they had the frost dragon like the thing that you had to go to like the mini games and stuff i think that'd be really cool and be like hey um there's a pet competition going on right now in overlook bay would you like to join yes or no and i think that'd be like really cool to see like a ui like that so you can be able to join the pet competition so that is another idea that i had the next idea that i had is the submarine sub submarine uses so there is the submarine it's actually like 
on the island over there as you guys can see guys i like to see what that submarine has a use for in the island it's been there since the fishing update but i don't think we've had any news on anything about or like a storyline of what that is for that is another idea i had is to kind of just have a story for the submarine and why it's there and how it has to do with like doc mcfly or maybe it doesn't have to do with him um just like a story and stuff people really love reasons to why things are there and i think that'd be really cool to have is like a reason why that is there you know what i mean so the last idea that i have actually on my ideas list is the summer luau party decor and furniture ability to throw parties and introduce families with players so an issue that i have whenever i play with people is that i can either only let friends within my house and then lock it for everybody else to stay out what if i wanted to throw a party and have people um, who are not in my friends list be able to, you know, join my party or enter my house or something like that or like like families and stuff and I think that'd be really cool to incorporate within this um, game as well. So for example, like if you have a car and my friend would like to drive it in order for him or her to drive it they would need to be a part of my family right i'm not exactly how sure that would work but i think the families thing would be really cool to incorporate and with like the summer luau party decor i really love to see party decor because we don't really have anything in our decorations for like party decor besides like the party streamers i think it is and um actually guys let me go home and show you guys what i made for lifey's celebration party for when he became a star so this is the the entrance to lifey's party thing it's actually a glitch build as you guys can see so um, i'm actually going to need to turn on my furniture interactions for this so we're gonna go ahead and go right here we climb up here and this is lifey's party as you guys can see i kind of had to be creative here and i actually got this dance floor idea from dr kung fu lama so thank you to her but i think it'd be really cool to have like an actual like dance floor where the lights blink and stuff and then especially like these lights right here as you guys can see like these are just one color lights so i love to see them like moving around and i know that some people are triggered by flashing so maybe we can do something about that where it's not super super flashy so yeah and oh my gosh guys the jukebox actually has animations too i just noticed that so this is um lifey's party as you guys can see there's not much of like blinking lights when building this i really wish there was more like blinking lights and like more party things and stuff like that so yeah that is everything that i like to see in overlook bay um i'm probably gonna be doing a series of videos like this just because i just have so many ideas and like things that i want to share and, and like things for overlook bay to add within the game and be able to make the player experience like enhance and player experience so that is everything that's going to be in this video if you guys have any ideas then please leave them down below in the comments they may actually see this video and read some of your guys comments thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed also guys the donut squad merch is now available in my group i will leave my group link down below thank you to everybody who's been buying the merch and showing your support i love you guys so much make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever i upload a new video and also to become part of the donut squad because we have many fun things coming on this channel i love you guys thank you guys so much and i will see you guys next time bye